Welcome to Bali, the land of Hindu and the largest Muslim majority country. What is R20? Is it another interfaith talk shop where each one of us come, sing peons about our religion? I think R20 is or should have a much bigger vision and objective. Even before I came to this meeting, I was anticipating that it was going to be a landmark event. For one reason, it represented an acknowledgement on the part of the G20 that religion is a factor that can't be ignored in geopolitical policy and planning. The R20 held a ceremony in a Balinese village called Puja Mandala which has five different places of religious worship side by side. A mosque, a Catholic church, a Buddhist vihara, a Protestant church, and a Hindu temple. This ceremony launched the R20's spiritual ecology movement, which offers an alternative to the purely technocratic approach so often characteristic of secular ecology. Event, which involved planting trees sacred within Hindu cosmology, was attended by Sheikh Mohammed Al Isa, Secretary General of the Muslim World League, by Balinese Hindu priests, and a prominent Hindu theologian from India, Bhadresh Das Swami. Om. Sarvetra Sukhina Santu, Sarve Santu Niramaya. Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makas Chidduk Bhagbhavet Om Shantihi 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 In the timeless Vedic Sanatan tradition, Dharma and ecology are not separated. They are very much tied principles of spiritual living. Dharma is that which upholds the whole universe. Similarly, ecology is that which protects the whole creation. And the whole of creation is imbued with the presence of God. The launch of the spiritual ecology movement was part of the first annual G20 religion forum or R20, which the world's largest Muslim organization, Nadlatu Ulama, founded in conjunction with Indonesia's presidency of the G20. Setelah berabad-abad sejarah peradaban umat manusia, telah sekian lama sejarah yang diwarnai dengan kesulitan-kesulitan, keadaan-keadaan yang sulit di dalam hubungan antar umat beragama. Kita semua, para pemimpin dari umat beragama di seluruh dunia perlu mengambil tanggung jawab untuk mencari jalan keluar dari keadaan ini. Masing-masing komunitas beragama perlu mengupayakan suatu peninjauan ulang terhadap wawasan keagamaan di lingkungan agama masing-masing. Dan apabila di dalam wawasan keagamaan itu masih terdapat unsur-unsur yang bisa menghalangi 
koeksistensi damai di antara kelompok agama yang berbeda. Kita harus memiliki keberanian untuk memikirkan interpretasi-interpretasi baru terhadap wawasan keagamaan ini agar hidup berdampingan secara damai lebih memungkinkan bagi kita semua. It is indeed essential to the well-being of humanity that moral and ethical values weighed equally with economic and political considerations in shaping public policy. has set in motion a tectonic force here in Bali. From Bali it will go to India, from there to Brazil, from there onwards to wherever G20 is held. The languages may be different. The words may be different, but the message must be one.